Okay, today on Ryan Recommends, we're going to cover how to hook up your Nintendo 64 console up to the TV. So if you're not familiar with the hookups, that's what we're going to go over today. Okay, let's start with the two cables that come with the console. So you've got your power brick, which we'll show in a minute how that plugs in. And then you've got your AV cable, uh, your video and your left and right audio channel and the uh, Nintendo plug on this end. So now we'll turn the console around and look how the, all that plugs in. So all the Nintendo 64 consoles are the same. So what you got here on the left is the AV port and this is where the power uh, brick plugs in. Pretty simple and straightforward. So what you've got is this here plugs right into the back and then the power brick kind of a weird design but it does stick out as soon as you hear the click on the bottom here you'll see that it's, a, it's locked in and that's it right. now we'll go over uh, how to actually plug it into the TV okay on the back of the TV here are all the ports um, the one the Nintendo 64 is going to plug in to is this one here again you see the same um, yellow red and white um, Sometimes you'll see this back here, more of the green, blue, and red. That's uh, for your component. Um, the Nintendo 64 uh, was not designed for that, and most of us are used to the HDMI. There are some aftermarket solutions to plug into these, but for right now, we're just looking at the standard cables and how to correctly plug those in. So, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to put your video into the yellow, and then you just want to make sure your left and right channels are plugged into the correct color and that's it so now we're going to turn around and fire it up okay I don't know if this is going to show up very well but when selecting your source this one is the side AV and that's going to be the input that we just plugged the Nintendo 64 into so we're going to turn it on and away we go We've got Zelda plugged in right now. Um, a couple other things is the controllers. We've got your four ports up front. So um, if you're just playing alone, one player, you can see that these are marked one, two little dots, three, and four. So first player would always go into there. Up top, you've got your power switch. That's off, that's on. This is your reset button, which essentially does the same thing as the power button. Um, and then inside here, you have your expansion pack. This one's got the expanded memory, um, which is required for some games and also increases resolution and frame rate. There's other videos about that, but that's where that goes. So if you're buying one, you may want to look for one that has that or pick that up after you get yours. As far as cartridges, very simple to insert. Just make sure it's seated all the way down. Light comes on. And you should be ready to play. And uh, that pretty much covers it, guys. If you have any questions about how to plug uh, in your Nintendo 64, please let me know. Um, there is one other cable that is uh, out there. So the other cable I wanted to show you was an RF U adapter. Um, this is where you would actually plug it into the cable port on the back of the TV so it has uh, the same connection as the other AV cable that would just plug into the back of the Nintendo 64 but then you would actually plug it into this port uh, and it carries both the audio and the video signal now the quality is going to be um, not as good as the standard AV cables but if that's the only connection connection you've got then um, that's what you would use but if you have the option I would I would definitely go with the AV cables to get you started and that's it for now. I'll be back with some more videos on the Nintendo 64. Thanks, guys. One last thing is I was going to put some links below. Um, if you need any of these parts or accessories or are interested in buying a Nintendo 64 or controller, expansion packs, uh, games, any of these kind of things that we've covered today, um, I'll put all the links below so that you can quickly find what you're needing and looking for. All right. Thanks again, guys.